Hi, this is Steve Endo, and today I'd like to review customer and vendor hold options and compare the difference between Dynamics GP and Dynamics 365 Financials. Let's start in Dynamics GP, and I'll open the customer maintenance window. And I have a test customer here, Z Customer Hold, or Z Hold Customer, and currently that customer is on hold. It's just a single check mark in Dynamics GP. And if we go to help, let's see how that's described. So you mark this option to put a customer on hold and the hold option prevents any further sales to the customer. So if they have an unpaid balance, uh, you can prevent new sales from occurring. However, you can still receive payments from the customer, which makes sense. If the customer is overdue on their payments, you wanna prevent new sales, but you want to allow the receipt of cash from that customer. So that's pretty straightforward. So to show how that works, let's close this, go to receivables, and enter a sample receivables invoice for this customer. And you'll notice as soon as I tab off that customer ID, I'm warned that this customer is currently on hold. Do you want to continue? And we have a yes, no prompt. So I, as a standard user, can click yes and continue entering this invoice. So that's more of a warning option. So let's take a look at receivable setup to see what other options we have. So up here, we have a remove customer hold password. And I'll show you a quirk about this, but for now, let's assign a password here and see how that changes the behavior of Dynamics GP. So we'll click on OK, go to receivables transaction entry again, and try entering an invoice for this customer. And you'll notice now, rather than a yes, no prompt, a warning, I'm issued a password prompt. So please enter the on hold override password. So setting a password on the remove customer hold option in receivable setup now forces the password on receivables transactions or invoices as well. So if I enter the password, it will let me proceed, but that's an additional layer of protection to further limit invoices. So rather than just make it a warning, it can be a hard stop to prevent those. However, one thing I noticed is that even though the receivables setup window says remove customer hold requires a password, one thing I noticed is if I go into customer maintenance, go into my hold customer, I can uncheck and click on save. I'm not prompted for a password. There's no dialogue. So um, a little bit of inconsistency there and it doesn't appear to actually prevent that or prompt for a password. So kind of strange. So it does prompt the password during transaction entry. It does not prompt the password during an update of the customer. And just for reference, this is using Dynamics GP 2016 RTM. So maybe a service pack might have changed that behavior, but I was a little surprised by that. So that's the customer side. Let's take a look at the vendor side now. So on the vendor maintenance window, this is very similar concept. We have a vendor hold and it's just a check mark. And let's take a look at the help window here. So if you place a vendor on hold, you can't issue or apply payments for the vendor using payables transaction entry, manual payment, or print payables checks. And I also tested select checks and it appears to block that as well. You just, when you try to build your batch, nothing is selected. It says you can still enter, post, and apply transactions other than payments for the vendor. So you can still enter a voucher, record your invoices, but in case there's some dispute with the vendor, this holds any new payments from being issued. So with that, let's take a look at how this option affects payables manual payment entry. And so when the vendor is on hold, in this case, this is a hard stop. There is no option to say yes, no. There's no override. The password doesn't appear. You can't enter anything. So you cannot enter payments for vendors on hold, period. So let's delete this. And let's go into the payable setup to take a look at what that looks like. So you'll notice, similar to customers, there is a password option, remove vendor hold, and we can require a password to remove a hold from a vendor. 
And on the vendor side, this does appear to work. So let's go to the Z hold vendor. And when I uncheck and click on save, now I am prompted for the vendor hold password. So I can enter that and then it saves. So that appears to be working properly and consistently. And so it's a little bit different than receivables in that we don't have the um, override option, but let's give that a try. So if I remove my vendor hold password, click on OK, I can uncheck and save. I'm not prompted for the password. Let me put that back on. And with that vendor on hold, let me go back into manual payment entry. And you'll notice, even though I have unchecked the option to require a password to remove the vendor hold, even though the vendor is on hold, it still blocks me. So that option is consistent whether you have a password or not for removing the vendor hold. It will not allow a payment to be issued. Now there's one additional option in Dynamics GP related to holds. It's not a vendor hold, however, it is kind of handy. So let's say that you have a dispute with a vendor on a particular invoice. Maybe there's a reconciliation issue. Maybe there's something that needs to be um, addressed in terms of performance of a service. So in this case, you can go into the hold payables transaction window and you can place a hold on an individual invoice for a given vendor. So you don't have to place the entire vendor on hold. You can still have invoices and payments for that vendor, but you want to make sure not to pay this invoice. So that's what this option is for. So you can remove a hold or you can put a hold back on a given transaction for a given vendor. So that's a nice side feature that uh, doesn't block the entire vendor, but lets you have some control. So now let's take a look at Dynamics 365 Financials. Here we have Dynamics 365 Financials. And up front, just a caveat, the product is changing rapidly. It's a relatively new product. They're still migrating new features into the financials platform. And so this is changing weekly and even daily. So this assessment will be as of late April 2017. And in a month or two, uh, some of these features may change. So just keep that in mind. Um, however, with that said, let's take a look at how customer holds are issued. So let's go into this Z customer blocked. And the first thing you'll notice is that Dynamics 365 Financials uses the term blocked. They don't use the term hold. So there's a little terminology difference. And this notes that Block specifies that transactions with the customer are blocked, for example, because the customer is insolvent. So if they're not paying you, you can block them. What is interesting about this option is that it prevents, let's try a sales order, and you'll notice you cannot create this type of document when the customer is blocked, but it also prevents the receipt of cash for this customer. So if the customer is overdue in their payments, you can block them to prevent new orders or invoices. However, this option also prevents you from receiving payments from them to catch up. So it's a little bit odd, and I don't know if this is going to change uh, with future releases or uh, updates as they occur, but I think there's some opportunity to improve this to allow cash receipts for the customer while preventing new orders and invoices, similar to Dynamics GP. So that's one thing there. Now I will try to do a cash receipts, but when I tried this previously, I received an error. So let's do a cash receipt journal. And let's try to receive a payment from this customer. And previously I'd receive an error that it was not allowed, but at the moment I'm just getting a notification that the page has an error. So, um, when I tested this a couple weeks ago, it did block it and prevent it, saying that this customer is blocked. You cannot enter a payment for them. So that appears to be how it works. And I'm not aware of an option that restricts the change of this block check mark. So I don't know if there is some additional option that would require a password to disable the block. But as far as I can tell, it is not restricted and any user can remove a customer from being blocked. 
So now let's take a look at vendors. And let's do, let's look at this test vendor here. There is a blocked field for the vendor. However, there is a difference here. Notice that it's not a check mark. You have a drop down with three options. You have not blocked, you have blocked for payments, and then you have blocked for all. So similar to Dynamics GP, you can have a payment option where you can enter invoices for the vendor, but you will be prevented from issuing payments to the vendor. But unlike GP, there is an additional option to prevent all activity for a vendor. So maybe a vendor is an old vendor and you no longer use them. You have a new vendor you want to use. So it might be a good idea to choose all here to prevent any invoices from being entered to this vendor accidentally. And so this would be a hard stop for any invoices. So that might be a handy option to have. And this option of payment and all makes me think that the customer functionality for blocking may change. And so you'll notice here, in case you didn't notice previously, I'm going to block this customer. When I click on sales order, notice that the message says, you cannot create this type of document when the customer is blocked with type all. Currently, we don't have an all or a payments or an invoices option for the blocking. We only have a check mark. So it could be that they are planning to enhance this feature in the future and add the ability to have selective blocking, preventing invoices while still allowing receipt of payments. And I haven't had enough time to dig into financials to determine if there is a similar option like GP to put a payables transaction or payables invoice on hold independent of the vendor block. So that'll be something that I'll look into. And if you're familiar with any other options related to customer or vendor holds, I'd love to hear from you. Hope that was helpful.